Hold up, pause the video right there. You may be asking yourself, who is this guy? Well, this guy is Eric Steven Lander, a 63-year-old American geneticist who was born in Brooklyn, New York. But you probably know him as the guy who played the theremin in the 10 team. 81 Classic, Raiders of the Lost Ark. When he was just 10 years old, he was already playing the piano, and by age 12, he was playing the theremin. He even performed with the theremin on the Johnny Carson show when he was just 15 years old. After graduating high school, he went on to study at MIT, where he earned his bachelor's degree in 1978 and his PhD in 1982. His research at MIT was in the area of molecular biology and genetics, and he was part of the team that discovered the first human oncogene in 1982. This discovery earned him the Lasker Award in 2001 and the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2004. But wait, there's more. While attending MIT, he also met the love of his life, Susan Solomon, who is a graduate student in neuroscience. They got married in 1980, and together they have two children, Eric Jr. and Emily. And yes, he did name his son after himself. Now, if you were re-wondering how a guy who was born and raised in the United States ended up with a British accent, well, that's because he moved to the UK in 1993 to take a position as professor of genetics at the University of Cambridge. He also served as the director of the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute from 1993 to 2003, and then as the president of the European Molecular Biology Laboratory from 2003 to 2009. In 2009, he returned to the United States and became the Herkel Smith Professor of Genetics and Systems Biology at Harvard Medical School. He also served as the founding director of the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard from 2003 to 2018. So what has this guy been up to lately? Well, he's been working on developing new gene editing technologies, particularly in the area of CRISPR-Cas9. He's also been involved in several high-profile legal cases involving gene editing including the first ever court case to challenge the patent claims of CRISPR technology. When he's not in the lab or in court, he enjoys playing the theremin and the piano and spending time with his wife and two children. He currently resides in Belmont, Massachusetts with his wife and two children. I hope you enjoyed learning about Eric Steven Lander, the man behind the music. If you want to learn more about him, I highly recommend watching the documentary The Man Who Plays the Lost Ark. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.